Well, this is my third HHO machine. All right, now I got it just running a little bit. It's probably going to go up some more because as this electrolyte gets down in the solution more, it gets more mixed around, you'll see the amps go up. So what I use is 100% lye, which is sodium uh, hydroxide. I think it's called sodium hydroxide. And uh, what this one's going to be for is strictly bubbling water. Now, I'll hook the cannula to this with the stone on it. I'm going to leave this one in the bathroom because I could bubble the water in a container over there, like a quart container or something, let it run a while with a timer. Uh, you want to run a timer with these manual units like that because I have a couple timers now. This way, if I forget about it, it won't be keep running. You got to make sure you watch the water level and stuff. This one is slightly overfilled, but not that much overfilled. I usually slightly overfill them just a little bit because they last longer. They can easily last eight hours running, even at a higher amperage. Um, the reason I want to do this third one is because I have one in it by the computer, one in the bedroom where I sleep. I use that one while I'm sleeping, and I have one strictly for doing the bath water and also uh, bubbling through the drinking water for HHO. So I'm going all out on this. We'll see how this works out. I'm not sure if it's... We'll find out. And the only way, you know, I'm probably the only one that's probably doing this to success. I probably breathe this stuff at least eight hours a day. Uh, I started drinking distilled water. I have a water distiller, but I'm going to be buying a distilled water and save the water distiller for an emergency in case I need it. Um, which is a good thing because if you want to have like good clean water that you have absolutely no problem, no, you know, suspecting that it's a problem. If you put it through the water distiller, it's going to take out everything. So, this should eventually get up around 7 amps if I run it a while. And, oh, you notice what I did here. This is, I got this, Let's see if I can provide the link for this. This, this is made for a cannula, so it's actually coming out of this right here. You can see it's bubbling through there. This is the first bubbler. It's just filled up with water about up to there. Um, this is the second cannula. You don't want to have, I mean, you bubbler, excuse me, the second bubbler. You don't want to have the second bubbler down here. You want to have it up here. You want to have it, I don't know why, because uh, if you have it down here, it seems to um, push through a lot more impurities. If you have it up here, it really gets out all the impurities very well. So, well, I had to fix this bubbler actually. The, uh, well, here it is. I changed it out. I put a different one in there and I drilled it out a little bit differently. This one, I put a bigger hose on it. This one will work too. The other one that was uh, leaking a little bit. Um, I had to drill that out for a quarter inch. That's one of the problems you got when setting this up. Once you get this set up where it's solid, you want to have that hose in there so it fits in there really tight and it put shoe goo around it like this and that's not dry yet but then all you have to do is when you change the water you unscrew the lid here you don't touch this so you'll be changing out that water and this water a lot of times they just change out this water you can see the uh, amps is going up a little bit it'll go up probably to about eight amps or something like that because of how much electrolyte I put in there and I put almost two level teaspoons but I noticed it's got to mix around in the beginning. It seems like you got to run a little while before it hits the, I don't know, it's got to break in or something. I don't know what it is, but then it works. So this is going to be strictly for bubbling water. So this is more pain in the ass time than I thought. It is uh, the slightest leak with hydrogen will make it not work. It's, it's like, um, you know, a water leak is one thing, like in a hose. An air leak, your hose has to be sealed better for than a water hose to you know to keep it leak free. In a hydrogen, it's even more than air. If more, it has to be more uh, leak proof than a regular air hose because the molecule is so tiny. So it doesn't take much to freaking leak it leak. So that's a solid connection now. So I'll put the. I'll probably gonna run this a few more minutes or something. Maybe just let it sit. Even if you just let it sit, it'll mix up the electrolyte a little bit better um, but then I got the cantaloupe with the stone on it and this one will go in the bathroom for 
doing a bathtub water and also uh, making water to drink. So, anyway, I'm going to get out to the gym. I left a cannon in the back here. <laughs> See the cannon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thing is, so, it's not going to be raining out here for the next few days, so I'll leave it out here for a little while. Besides, I don't know how to get, get it off the back there just yet. I never got it off the back. I got it up there. <laughs> I said, I got to get it off. So, anyway. This uh, this unit cost, what is it, 128 bucks delivered or something like that, or 129, 128. I haven't really had any problems with them, so, you know, um, just remember to use a timer on it. Make sure you watch your water levels. Um, I'm not sure about the internal pressures being screwed up because I remember they listed them on eBay, what the internal pressures were. If they're wrong, whatever, I don't know. I just didn't have any problem with them. Um, I would definitely run a timer on them though because if you leave them on and it runs low in water it'll probably get really hot and then that's not good with HHO for sure so uh, it's not the safest way of doing it in a way but you gotta remember this they're selling these as welders so you know I'm not making an open flame at the end of this I'm just bubbling it through water so if you're working with an open flame and they consider this as a safe product, well, go figure. You know what I mean? It can't be that unsafe. You know, I know there's been, I guess it would be better to have like, uh, you know, like the George Wiseman units. He has it where the alarm goes off, the other unit automatically shuts off when the water gets too low. But it's kind of like anything else, man. Do you put gasoline in your car? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, don't overfill it and flow it out all over the freaking ground or something. Don't smoke while you're putting gasoline in the car, right? I mean, it's the same kind of deal. So, do you operate a lawnmower and a chainsaw? I mean, it's like, uh, but it's, it is good to have it totally idiot-proof, but, you know, for 2500 bucks versus paying $129, well, it's a little more than 129 because I had to buy the bubbler and that little container and the shoe goo and stuff, but... Still, that's a hell of a lot cheaper. So that's the way. I, that's just how I figure.